A homeless woman begging for money on the street with her baby. Their story has grabbed the attention of the Bay Area since we first introduced you to them. But they're not alone. Tonight, only on five, we met a family of 10 who's been in a shelter for more than a decade. And we wanted to know what is being done about the problem of homeless families in San Francisco. Well, here's what Joe Vasquez found out. The Mapanda family, eight children, two parents, homeless in San Francisco. It's hard and it's a struggle, and you got to keep fighting for your babies. Treasure Mapanda is originally from the Congo. He says he's been homeless for 11 years because his immigration paperwork got lost and he couldn't get a job. His wife, Latertia, is from Oakland. The children's ages range from four months to 11 years. They are among the 190 homeless families in San Francisco. The just lack of housing is causing us to be homeless, being on the streets. A lack of housing. Yes, it's lack of housing. If we can get housing, it will make tremendous differences. Latertia and the children live in the Hamilton Family Shelter in the Tenderloin, the same shelter as Megan Dowdney. I'm his little mini -me, huh? We introduced you to Megan last week, 34 years old, homeless with baby Nadalia, now six weeks old. We learned of her story because of the social media outrage. Some folks are angry. An infant this young is out on the street, right next to her mom as she panhandles. Yeah, I'm going to do what I need to do to support me and my child. Megan and baby Nadalia spend their nights inside the shelter, which has food and medicine and parenting classes. She says she begs for money to buy diapers and formula. Whenever I see families in crisis, my heart breaks for them. Spokesman Randy Casada says the city's Department of Homelessness prioritizes getting homeless families immediately off the street. The department is about to roll out a new system called Coordinated Entry that will streamline homeless families into shelters, then work to get them more permanent housing more quickly. We've heard stories where people weren't able to access services, and you know, as we roll Coordinated Entry out, uh, families are going to be able to access the system from a number of different points. City officials expect to have the new Coordinated Entry system up and running by October. They're also about to open a new emergency family shelter. As for the Mapandas, the sheer size of the family appears to be part of the challenge of housing them. In fact, people tell them all the time they have too many kids. So what have you said to people when they say, stop having babies? I love my kids, and I mean, they're the future. But there is hope. Treasure says he recently got his immigration paperwork in order and is now driving for Lyft. He plans to move his family out of the shelter and into housing in the Sacramento area very soon. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. Bay Area